Hey guys, it's Natalia, and my room has changed. Um, yeah, I redid my whole room. If you guys saw my what I got for Christmas video, I mentioned in there that I was painting it and redoing it completely, so ta-da. I have white walls now and fun decor, which leads me into this video because I'm going to be showing you how I made basically all of this except for that big love one that one was bought. The rest of these I made, and I'm going to be showing you how I did that and a bunch of other fun little room decor things that could spice up your room for the new year to come and just kind of redo your whole room without actually having to spend much money because all of this is really recycled stuff that I ended up just like painting and DIYing. So, so I'm just going to get straight to the video. So I got these frames from Hobby Lobby and they were only like five dollars and I got two of them but I'm just gonna show you how I painted one of them and I painted it gold and it turned out so cool I had to do so many layers of it because the gold is just more shimmery than it is like a color um, but they turned out so cool and they're such a like really cute decoration and I absolutely love them so this next one is my absolute favorite so look up four different animals that you like like just on Google, like pick out four different animals or the same ones and just like different like um, pictures kind of thing. Um, but yeah, so anyway, figure out what four animals you want or what four pictures you want, whatever. I just did a giraffe, an elephant, a zebra, and a cheetah. And then you're just going to print them out in black and white and you're going to take four little canvases that I ended up painting, two gold and two black, and then you're going to take the um the little animals that you printed out cut them out like perfectly and then mod podge them onto your canvases and they just look so good and i absolutely love like how they turned out they look so cool like so cool so that's an easy way to spice up your room and pretty cheap too not gonna lie and it looks super cool i love it This next one's really basic and simple, but it does like so much, so I just got like a few canvases and just wrote out some of my favorite quotes and made them all like artsy and like cool like handwritings and such and really like you don't even have to be like perfect on this, like you can like pencil it first and then go over it with like, um, this is like a paint uh, kind of marker thing, it's like made for canvases, um, but anyway like if you mess up or anything or like the um, erasing marks don't go off very well. Um, then you can even, like use white paint and just paint over it and it looks perfect anyway. So that's what I did on this one. And I just wrote Have Courage and Be Kind, which is from Cinderella, and I love that quote. So I got inspiration from Pinterest uh, on how to do this, which it is a great place to go for inspiration, guys. Pinterest has the cutest little quotes and like word art and stuff that you can copy down and it's just absolutely great. And to spice it up, I just added some gold little um, circles all around just to add a little bit of something else to it. And once again, if you mess up on them, you can go back with the white and then just make it all better. Like, bless white paint. <laughs> and that is what it looked like in the end. And I really, really like it. It turned out really cute, I think. And then I'm just going to show you guys a few of the other ones that I also made. This next one I have been seeing everywhere. So apparently like it's super cool to like have these like woodcuts that are it was only like five bucks at Hobby Lobby. And then I just wrote not all who wonder are lost and you can do whatever like quote you want or like I've seen a lot of people do like um, the outline of like a deer or like something on it but like just drawing on these or painting on them just looks so cool and it makes for a really cool like rustic kind of um, decoration and I absolutely love it then I went just went over it um, with black pen and then added a little bit of gold to the little arrows that I drew and I just fell in love with it like it looks so cool and it doesn't take much effort and it's very cheap and it's just I love it love it This 
next one's for the people who are not very artsy and can't really draw. All you need is a canvas and some tape and then just set the tape down and make some cool designs with it, do whatever you want. Honestly, it doesn't have to be perfect. And all you're gonna do is paint over it with whatever color. I used gold so that when I would take off the tape there would be black lines all over it. And it looked super cool and I liked it a lot. Um, so when the paint dries, make sure it dries completely. I didn't wait too long because I'm very impatient so then some of the gold paint like came back up with it. But then you can just fix it with um, the black paint and just go over it and it'll look perfect and it just looks so cool and it's so fun to take off the tape and like see all these perfect lines come out so you know and each one comes out original so that's always great too For this one, basically you can take anything you have in your room and just paint it any color that you want and remake it. Like I took all these little four letters that I've had since I was like really little and I just painted them black and gold and made them completely new and I also painted some of the frames I had gold and just a bunch of other little stuff like gold and black and it just made such a big difference and made it completely new and super cool and I fell in love with it. And lastly, this decorative tray. I've been seeing people use these trays all the time, like all throughout YouTube and like Tumblr and all this crap. So anyway, um, I took this one from uh, Hobby Lobby. Again, it was only like five dollars. It was wooden, so I just painted it black and then added some gold accents to it because I made my room black and gold. If you can't see a theme here. Um, but yeah, it was just like really cheap, but it made like such a big difference to like paint it and make it myself instead of like buying some because I saw some that were like $20 or 30 and it just wasn't worth it when you can DIY your own and make it super cool. And then I just added like magazines and a little globe to it and just kind of put everything in there and it's just so fun and super cute and I absolutely love it. I hope you guys liked it and if you did give it a big thumbs up and a thumbs up for more DIY kind of videos or any other kind of videos just leave comments down below on what you want me to do and I will try to get those to you as soon as possible and um and that is pretty much it so I guess I will see you guys in the next one bye